How I organize my photos in Lightroom. Hi, Rick here. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I organize my photos in Lightroom. How utterly splendid. I'm the creator and indeed all things at the Splendid Photography Explain podcast. I explain photographic things in plain English without the irrelevant details. I'm a professionally qualified photographer based in England with a lifetime of photographic experience, which I share with you in my podcast. How utterly splendid. Right, straight into this. You need to organise your photos on your computer so you can find any photo quickly and easily. You need to come up with a filing system that you can add to over the years as you take more and more photos. And you need to be able to keep track of all the photos in your catalogue so you know which photos you've edited, not edited, and of course, where all your good stuff is. And you need to get rid of any rubbish photos. And any photos that you don't like, you don't need, or you, you're you not going to do anything with. If you're not sure, just get rid, because I've done this loads and I've not regretted getting rid of a single photo. But maybe that's because I've got more rubbish photos than most people. So I'm going to tell you how I organise my photos in a single Lightroom catalogue. But don't worry, you can apply the principles of what I'm saying to any software. I use a PC, so this file structure you can actually find in Windows Explorer. Because the photos aren't actually in Lightroom. Lightroom is signposting the folders which are actually in Windows Explorer. And I believe the same applies for iOS Finder. So the approach I take, you can use in pretty much anything, as far as I'm aware, because I only use Lightroom, let's not forget that, and I tell you what I do. I don't use any other photo editing software. And best of all, it's straightforward, whatever software you use, it doesn't cost you anything, and it works. It's worked for me for over a decade. What is not to love? Right, photos. They are digital files. Let's not forget that. And photos need to be organized in a logical folder structure, just like any other digital files. Let's not overcomplicate this. A photo is a digital file, okay? A quick word about Lightroom. I'll apologize now for constantly mentioning Adobe Lightroom, but this is what I do and have done since it was released in 2007. Yep, I have been a user since Lightroom 1.0. And I am also a paying customer at the time of writing this one day Adobe. <laughs> one day, just saying. So while this might sound like a Lightroom ad, I tell you what I do in my podcast and on my YouTube channel. And Lightroom is what I use. And it's what I pay for with my own money. So I'm fine doing that. Adobe aren't paying me to say this. This is me telling you what I do. But getting back to the most important point, photo organization is photo organization, whatever software you use. So let's start with the important starting point. Good job in it, really. One catalog, dear listener. That is the beginning of all of this. All my photos dating from 2003 to yesterday are all in a single Lightroom catalog. Now, when I started, I used to have loads of different catalogues because that's what I thought I needed to do but I was so so wrong and for over a decade I've had all my photos in one catalogue. Now I remember reading some years ago that there is no physical limit to the number of photos you can have in a single Lightroom catalogue. Don't know if that's still true I assume it is more so now than it would have been back then but I've got 86,000 photos in my Lightroom catalogue. Well, I did have before I started deleting the rubbish. And that has never been a problem. Having all your photos in a single catalogue, it means you've got all your photos in one place and in chronological order, which in my case is from 2003 to yesterday, which on its very own is utterly, utterly splendid. It's easy to back up a single catalogue. There's much less chance of duplicate images and you can find things much more easily. And it helps when you start to add flags and stars and stuff. It just makes sense. There is no reason to have more than one Lightroom catalogue, OK? OK, what is the folder structure in my Lightroom catalogue? Boring but important. I'm telling you how I organise my photos in Lightroom and this is my folder structure. 
I used to have loads of folders and then many years ago I got rid of a lot of those and I ended up with 11 main folders and endless endless subfolders. Now I've got six main folders and these are they. They are the import folder, a commercial folder, an England folder, a worldwide folder, a working folder and a personal folder. That's it, six main folders. And in Lightroom, on the left, that's all there is, six main folders. I'm going to go through these quickly one by one and it will be quick, don't worry. Import folder. Well, not surprisingly, this is where I import the photos to. Imported photos are put in a single folder until I'm ready to move them to a new folder where they will stay. And I'm not going to move them until they've been sorted, which these days means getting rid of all the rubbish, keeping only the photos I'm going to do something with and adding specific metadata to the photos and other stuff which I will come on to in another video, like star ratings and flags and all that good stuff. This is how I keep on top of the rubbish. Having photos in the import folder it annoys me, so I need to deal with them and sort them so I can move them so they no longer annoy me. And I don't allow myself to do that until I've sorted all the imported photos and got rid of the rubbish. This works for me. <laughs> commercial. This is where all my commercial work goes. Now, there are subfolders for year, and within each subfolder, another subfolder, which is the job name. And once I've sorted the photos, that's all there is. Commercial folder, year, job, photos in that folder. That's it, no subfolders. And that's my recently refined process, shall we say. Okay, England, no year folds. I don't need them. It's places. I don't care when I took the photo, but I could sort by date anyway, obviously. No, what's important is the location. So I've broken them down by county, which in the US will be state. And then the actual location. That's it. Simple. Worldwide, same as England. But this time we're broken down by country and then location. And some of these folds have got a year on them because I've been fortunate enough to go to them more than once. Done. Five, working folder. This is anything I'm working on for my business, my website, my blog, my podcast, anything at all. And there are subfolders to help organise this little lot. And the subfolders at the moment are me, photos of me. Yes, believe it or not, <laughs> I actually use these. I've got another folder for skies. I photograph skies, which are there in case I want to put one in a photo that's not got a great sky. Behind the scenes shots and photos of gear and photos of me using gear. And anything else that I come up with as part of my Lightroom catalogue, culling and reorganising the process I'm going through at the moment. The point here is that I put the photos I'm working on together and the subfolders help me do my work and they save me time. And that's what this is all about and so it should be. And then folder six is personal, which is it's anything personal, anything at all really. But it's not the personal stuff from holidays because they're organised by place so I know where they are. Ideally they would be, but I haven't done that. So it's just things that are entirely personal. It keeps it away from my business stuff, which is nice. And that's how I organise my photos. Nice and simple, isn't it? And here is a bit from the talky bit of that episode. Let's not overthink this. Digital images are files, just like Word documents, PDFs and anything else you care to mention. So get your organisation sorted out and you'll be good to go. And this will help you for years to come, just like mine has and still does. I've had the 11 folders for probably a decade now. And it's only in this recent getting rid of the rubbish from my Lightroom catalogue that I've reduced it down to six and got rid of all the subfolders. The, the fundamental principles, they've been there for over a decade now. And you can add to it and add to it and add to it. And it keeps on working. So it's great. We have a problem, don't we, with digital cameras? They've given us the opportunity to take lots of photos. And we need to manage this. We need to keep on top of this. Storage space needs to be managed and kept on top of. All our photos, they need to be together in one location where we can manage and look after them, care for them, curate them and love them. And rubbish photos. If you got rubbish photos, get rid of them. And a final question for you, dear viewer. If you can't be bothered to edit a photo, why are you keeping it? 
Okay, that's me done. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Why not like this video and subscribe so you don't miss all the good stuff i got coming up on my channel. This is where I talk about my podcast and any other photography-related stuff that's on my mind at the time. So it's all good stuff. It's all in plain English. And it is all without the irrelevant details. Of course it is. How utterly splendid. So I will say thanks for watching. Cheers from me, Rick.